Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this system of equations x minus y equals to 11 and x square plus y square equals to 121. And now we are going to find the value of x power 5050 plus y power 5050. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on our very first equation, x minus y equals to 11. And here I have copied it down. And now let's go ahead and take a square on both sides, on this side and the right hand side as well. And now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square. We are going to apply it on the left hand side of this equation. So this is going to give us x square plus y square minus 2 times xy equals to 121 on the right hand side. And now let's focus on this x square plus y square. We know that x square plus y square equals to 121 from this second equation. So therefore we are going to replace it by 121 minus 2xy equals to 121. And now we are going to subtract 121 from both sides. This is gone. This is gone as well. So we ended up with negative 2xy equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 2 on this side and negative 2 on this side as well. So our xy value turns out to be simply 0. And now xy equal to 0 means we're going to have a three scenarios. Either x equal to just x equal to 0. The other scenario is just y equal to 0. And the third scenario is both x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 as well. And now we are going to investigate all these three scenarios. And here's our next step. Let's focus on our case 1 when x equal to 0 only. And now let's go ahead and plug it in this value in our very first equation. And here I have copied down our first equation. Let's go ahead and replace x by 0. So this is 0 minus y equals to 11. So that means negative y equals to 11 means y value turns out to be negative 11. So our x value turns out to be 0 and y value turns out to be negative 11. For this case one, let's go ahead and check whether these are our valid values by plugging in this second equation. And here's our second equation. Let's go ahead and plug it in x and y values. So x is 0, so 0 square plus y is negative 11 whole square. The question mark is the left hand side is equal to 121. And now we can see that our this left hand side is indeed equal to right hand side. And we can see now this is our true statement. So therefore we are going to accept this uh, case 1. So therefore our these values x equal to 0 and y equals to negative 11 are our valid values. And now let's focus on this case 2 when our y value is 0. Let's go ahead and plug it in in this equation 1 now. And here's our equation 1. Let's go ahead and plug it in y equal to 0 value. So x minus 0 equal to 11. So thus we can see that our x value turns out to be positive 11. So for this second scenario, our x value is 11 and y value is 0. Let's go ahead and see whether these are our valid values. And here we have plugged in these values in our equation 2. And we can see that our left hand side is indeed equal to right hand side. So therefore, this is a true statement. So we are going to accept this scenario as well. So therefore, x equal to 11 and y equal to 0 are our valid values as well. 
And now let's focus on this case 3 when x and y both values are 0. And now let's go ahead and plug it in these x and y values in this equation 1. So let's put it 0 minus 0 equal to 11. So 0 turns out to be 11. And now we can see that the left hand side is not equal to right hand side. So therefore this is a false statement. So we are going to reject this scenario. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and find the value of this x power 5050 plus y power 5050 now for this case 1 first. And now let's go ahead and plug it in these x and y value in this uh, expression. So this is going to give us 0 power 5050 plus uh, negative 11 power 50. 50. And now we can see that 0 power 5050 50 is same as 0 and then plus negative 11 power 5050. 50. And we know that 5050 50 is our even exponent. So therefore this is going to give us 11 power 5050. 50. So therefore for our this case 1 our answer turns out to be 11 power 5050. 50. And now let's focus on this case 2 when our x value is 11 and y value is 0 and we are going to find the value of x power 5050 plus y power 5050. Now let's go ahead and plug it in these x and y values in this expression. So this is going to give us 11 power 5050 and then a plus 0 power 50. 50. So we can see that our value turns out to be 11 power 50, 50 and we can see that our values are same for both cases. So that's our final answer for x power 50, 50 plus uh, y power 50, 50 turns out to be 11 power 50, 50. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.